Hey guys, Taylor QT here with the third installment of Castlevania Lords of Shadow. So, in the last episode, we found out that someone murdered our girlfriend, and I'm really mad about that. We've also lost two horses. We crawled through the forest, actually we rode through the forest, and now we're at the dead bog. So I guess it's time for us to find out what lies ahead. Alone again, with only his thoughts as company, he continues on his journey to find the one he seeks. Who or what was that strange creature? There is a power here that few know, a power that could have some influence on events. Perhaps the Guardian of the Lake is aware of him now and offers aid in his quest. There is just the small matter of the dead bog to overcome, a place that has claimed the lives of many of the Brotherhood. The smell of death is strong here, and danger lies around every corner, but nothing will stop him. Nothing will stand in his way. Wow, the dead fog sounds actually pretty formidable, but I think that I can make it. Because I have awesome hair. I mean, look at that hair. Yeah, I want to just reiterate how amazing the graphics actually are in this game. We're only, we're only recording it in 720, but playing it in 1080 just looks fantastic. Oh... Sick, dude. So I pick up gems and I get life. Haha. -ha. Oh, look, there's a dead guy. Do you have gems? No, you have a scroll. I don't want to do. Oh, I guess we better read this scroll. How do I. How do I read stuff? I don't know how to read! Oh my god. Somebody help me. I need to go back to grammar school. What is this? Oh, okay. I guess it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it was actually backspace. Good game. Well played. Let's read our scroll. There is something in the water. Something terrible. I have seen men dragged under, never to return. The location of these creatures can only be seen as bubbles on the surface. I surmise one must wait for the bubbles to disappear before progressing through the bog. One cannot walk around them because noxious um. flames, fumes, lie either side of the safe path. So one must be patient and wait for the right moment to cross. Heck, I know that I am going to die, but at least it would be fighting, not swaddled by bubbles. Alright, sick. So we know that there's bubbles. I have to look out for them because everyone knows that bubbles are pretty pretty serious actually. Uh -huh. Okay, so we climb by jumping at things. It seems like a very similar control style to most uh, adventure games like this. I remember old school games you used to have to actually grab onto things whenever you jumped to them. Oh look, what a nice village. That was my house once. Oh, snap! A grenade! Bro, throw it back! No, for real though, don't just look at it. Look at him. Oh my gosh, yeah, I just want to pick this grenade up. Uh, what is this? I've never seen one before. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Charlie let the Oompas out. Oompa doompa doompa dee dee. I just got blown to pieces, hee hee. Alright, yeah, let's do it. I'll throw the grenades at stuff. Come on. Ah, mine! Die! Ha <laughs> ha! Success! Woo, victory! I don't like these guys. Holy crap. I thought they were, like, more Hispanic looking and have blue hair. I didn't think they were jerks like this. Oh, Get dondered. No, don't stab me in the back, little Tyrion Lannister. Looking guy. You tiny orcs, get out of here. No, I shall kill you. Oh, what is this? Oh, holy cow, dude, it's my best friend from the bug that I met in the second grade. I, I thought we lost each other, but I guess we found each other again. We'll come back, I'll talk to you. Oh, okay, I see the ripples they were talking about. 
Let's, let's go mess around in this bog then. Hmm, I move so fast in the bog. Oh, bubbles! Stay away from the bubbles. That's like the. Everyone knows that because we read the Elder Scrolls. Can I jump in here? I can't even jump. What? Oh shit! Bubbles! Let go of me, Billy! Oh my gosh. Now, obviously, I'm much cooler than a stupid orc. But, you know. Alright. So there's actually a path ahead of us, and I don't know to go left or right. But someone's watching from behind. So, um, you know. The sexy haired guy thinks to go to the health! Make the jump, Billy. Bubbles! There it is again. I'll take this. Yeah. Stairs. Oh, what nice stairs. <gasps> Crap! There's more Oompa Loompas! Don't make me call Charlie on you! Alright, note to self. Don't smack them when they're throwing grenades. They'll blow you up. Go ahead, throw a grenade at me, Billy. See what happens if you do it. <laughs> That'll show them to mess with me. But where do we go now, though? Oh. Oh, get out. Crap, there's poison frogs. No, I can't kill frogs. I hate frogs, though. Shit, bubbles. Oh, double bubble! My favorite kind of chewing gum. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I guess this is a real cliffhanger. Oh snap! Let go of me, but I want your hair. You can't have it. Not this time. Really? I I have to do the whole jump over? I'll wait for the bubbles to go away. Forget it, we're just gonna do it. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't need your health. I'm not a part of your system. Also, the soundtrack is really great. This music's pretty darn epic. Uh, we'll go this way. Come on, Mr. Bubbles, we can do it. Snap. Oh god, no, get out. <laughs> the cues are pretty good, though, when you need to get the heck out of there. There's bubbles, and then it starts whispering to you. And as soon as you hear the whispers, you know you're screwed. Crap, speaking of the devil. No, we made it. Question is, do we make it through this one? Nope. Get off of me. Oh. And I'm dead. Hmm. I suppose we must try again. Ooh. Alright, bubbles number one. Get out of here. We have to time it like perfectly. There we go. I think this actually should work this time. Aha! You swamp, I have defeated you and your courtesans. Now I shall be free. Oh crap, I'm sinking in the mud. Get out before it's too late. But I wanted a mud bath. I paid for the spa. Oh, a dead guy. Give me what you have, dead guy. Oh, I found another scroll. Let's read it. Hmm. Hmm. I call BS. Something evil is here. So I wonder, like, if my guy knows that he's clinically insane and hears voices. Because if he doesn't, someone should let him know. Oh, shh. Get out! Bubbles! No. Alright, go through. <gasps> oh my god, that actually scared me! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Crap, I'm like dead now. I really am dead, I think. I have no HP. Alright, come on, guy.
Yeah, don't get too close to the bubbles. I do not want to get dragged under into bubble land. That's where he took that Oompa Loompa anyways, and I'm pretty sure that guy's really mad at me. Because, you know, uh, I threw a knife at him. Which is probably uncalled for. I mean, we simply got in an argument over women at the bar, but... I guess... It happens. Wait, I feel like I've been here before. Doesn't this look exactly the same as the last village? Oh, sh... Like, grab him. Oh! Yeah, beat the living snot out of him. Oh. Yeah, let's do that. Do it! Pick it up! Give me your grenade! Die, tree! Oh, don't... Why? Oh, because I hate trees. Duh. This guy's not a hippie. Just look at him. He might have the hair of a hippie, but at least you can tell he uses product in it. Die, tree! <laughs> Forget you, goblins. I will escape. With my super escape of Jake, yeah, I'm coming back to kill you. There will be no survivors. Uh -huh. Alright, I knew that was going to happen. See that? The bubbles of destiny. They just spawn at the worst possible locations and also the worst possible times. And the trick though is right when the bubbles behind you start to come up, the bubbles in front of you will go away. So you just like kind of got to wait and then walk right before they go away. It's like the animation's not gone yet, but you know that the monster's gone. Yeah, look at that, Billy. We made it. Oh, what is following me? Stop looking at my butt. Do you think? Oh, crap. There's more Jimmies. Get out of here, Oompa Loompa guys. Loompa, Loompa, Doompa, Doompa. I've got another puzzle for you. Cross the lake with bubbles and gas, and now throw grenades up your butt. Alright guys, I think this is a really good place to call it for episode 3, part 1. It looks like this is going to be a big two-parter, so be sure to tune in for part 2. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up.